One, two, hit it, oh yeah, Black Dragon, that's right, Technique, we recognize, we know the slave, no doubt, Kung Fu, it's side, bring the bass in, uh, Orlando, uh, tap, throw your hands up, um, uh, Chelsea, Chelsea Mack, throw your hands up, um, uh, everybody in, in the place, throw your hands up, um, uh, yeah, yeah, alright people, what y'all looking at right now is the Big Black K, alright, this fragrance quite possibly could become my next signature scent. It's that good. Let me go ahead and take it out of the satchel. Show you guys exactly what I got here. And by the way, when this satchel is unpinched from the top, the smell from this just permeates the entire room. All right, stand by. Bada beep, bada boo. And there she blows. Incense Oud coming out of the house of By Killian. Now, as you can see, it is not quite full. The reason why that is is because this is a refill, it is not the original bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself a uh, perfume atomizer. It comes with a funnel. Unscrew the top, stick it in there, and you pour it in. 1.7 ounces right here. Even though it's not full to the top, they didn't screw me. It is 1.7 ounces in this bottle right here. Okay? Once again, Incense Oud by, by Killian. All right? Here's the reason why I got the refill. The original, that is the, the bottle that it normally comes in, sells for $400. <clears throat> no friggin' way would I ever spend that kind of money on a fragrance. Not even me. The refill is a fraction of that cost. Okay? Nobody really cares what the bottle looks like. Well, at least I don't. Now, the actual bottle you saw at the beginning of the video, it comes in a box, I think it's leather wrapped, the wood itself might be cherry, it's got like uh, probably felt on the inside where the bottle, I mean it's a beautiful presentation, that's where most of the money's going, I have no use for that, alright, no use for it, so I got the refill, juice is the same, presentation not as good but again I don't care now let me give you the notes in this poppy on the top floor you have geranium cardamom pink pepper and rose done coming in the middle you have patchouli Virginia cedar papyrus and something called methyl papal mousse done in the basement, you have musk, French lab denim, sandalwood, oak moss, and incense. Done. But wait a minute. The name of the fragrance is incense oud. Why is there no oud listed in the notes? Damn good question. Now, honestly, I have no idea why the perfumer did that. Incidentally, the perfumer behind this is Sidonie L'Encasseur. This fragrance came out 2011, this year. All right, again, why he did that, I do not know. What I do know, okay, is that I have smelled a lot of fragrances with oud therein. Gotta tell you, it certainly smells like there's oud in it to me, okay? And by the way, Oud is quickly becoming the note du jour among fragrance houses because, I mean, it's just an amazing scent. So everybody in their Uncle Louie is putting it in their fragrances nowadays. That's okay, I'm not complaining, okay? 
you mix it with other notes and you get like this beautiful beautiful fragrance anything that has oud in it for the most part if you like that type of stuff if you like orientals it's gonna blow you away all right at least it does me now once again this is the refill the regular bottle as i showed you again at the uh, beginning of the video does not look like this but if you want to pay out the wazoo just for you know a bottle then go for it but i don't see the uh the need in doing that not me now this mofo has a scent trail about as long as interstate 90 all right and if you don't know how long interstate 90 is look it up okay the sillage is unbelievable people are gonna smell you from seemingly a mile away little bit of an exaggeration but trust me when I tell you when you go in a room wearing this it's going to fill the room it'd be just like somebody threw a canister of CS gas in a 17 by 17 room poof everybody's gonna I don't care what anybody else is wearing you walk in wearing this and it's going to subdue everything that's in the house with regard to smell nothing's gonna touch it that's how strong this is okay you don't need a lot of this obviously okay because it's that potent the incense oh my god this is just a fantastic fragrance um now what you get for longevity i did do a uh, a sample of this before i bought it and when i put it on the back of my hand it was still there 15 hours later still there all right now what you get in terms of projection um and i'm talking about like wicked project i'm you know i mean like if somebody's standing five feet away from you ten feet away from you they're gonna smell you good fashion okay ten hours later they'll only need to move in about another foot and a half and they'll still still smell you that's how potent this this fragrance is i am absolutely in love with this okay and again my last video this is one of the reasons why i'm falling so heavily for the you know for the oud because it's that dope it's i'm telling you it's like crack very very addicting now this is billed as a unisex fragrance why heaven only knows in my opinion if this is going to have any type of femininity in it whatsoever it's going to be at the very top of this fragrance and even then it's only going to last for about an hour at the end of that hour the more masculine notes start to kick in so if you're a woman and you're wearing this you're only going to be a woman for about an hour after that you're going to start turning butch because it starts to get really masculine really masculine though strong extremely now like all the other fragrances that i've talked about the top notes and this is no exception do not fully vanish they are subdued okay slight hints of them but when the bass notes start kicking in middle and bass notes you know even though it's slightly detectable you may as well not even have it there for all the masculinity that's gonna ensue it's that simple now this fragrance is is, is kind of boozy you know I, I get a little bit of alcohol you know um, out of this and I'm not talking about like synthetic alcohol I'm talking about like uh, you know cognac or or scotch and I'm a teetotaler but you know I know what alcohol smells like this has that kind of vibe to me to me at, at least on my skin um, but this is just this is just stupendous man I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this and this is like uh, unbelievable you, you gotta smell it to believe it I mean if you, if you can get a sample of it I highly recommend doing that um, this fragrance in my opinion 
is going to have no happy medium. There will be very few, if any, middle of the road people where this scent is concerned. Okay? No one's gonna smell this and be like, oh, that's a high. They're either gonna, you know, cream all over it or throw up all over it. Okay? You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. I love it. Okay? I haven't had a full wearing of this yet and I'm gonna actually wait until I get my atomizer, which is gonna be tomorrow, and then probably by next weekend, I'll you know wear my uh, my first full wearing of it, and you know see what reaction it gets. But for now, it's gonna stay in its satchel because even with the uh, the bottle out of the satchel, even though it's not open, this whole room is smelling just like this fragrance. Wicked, wicked strong. So it's gonna stay in its satchel until I'm ready to uh, to wear it, and then. You know, we'll see what it what it brings. But um, yeah, that's about it. Incense Oud by by Killian. Um, hope you guys like it, and uh, that's all I got. Ah, man, I love this stuff. I'm out of here, people. Later.